What's going on everyone? So, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working with the F-150. Now, as you look at it right now, it doesn't look like anything crazy, but here's my dilemma. I tend to use the bed of my truck sometimes for my tools and stuff like that because I do have an enclosed trailer. I will use that quite often on bigger jobs and if there's room for it, keyword room for the trailer if I take it to somebody's house when I'm working on their house. However, if I'm doing like a small job or something like that, I'll just throw the tools in the bed of my truck and go. But, problem is, sure, they're secure where they won't fall out, I can lock this, but who's to say I'm not at the store somewhere and someone goes, hey, this is a really nice DeWalt bag, or that bag, or that bag, or that vacuum, or this toolbox, or my shovels. So, today we're installing a bed cover. But you might notice, I have a toolbox. There's only two, I mean, there's a couple more. There's a hard flip, like a triple hard cover. And then there's the soft tonneau covers. I got the soft roll-up tonneau cover that I'm gonna be installing today. However, one thing I wanna do first, I bought this at the store for like, I don't know, five or 10 bucks. We're gonna be putting this behind the toolbox between the bed to seal all this up back here. So it's more weather stripping because the tonneau cover presses up against the toolbox here, seals this, sits along this rail, seals here. I mean, you won't have a perfect seal because there's a, all this gap here and underneath the tailgate, but I want to get it sealed up as best as possible because not only for my tools, but when I go on trips and stuff like that, sometimes it tends to just be me and I'll throw stuff in the cab, not a big deal. However, if I have people come with me or like my snowboard and stuff and I don't want that in the cab when it's all wet and covered in snow still, I'll throw it in the bed. But again, same thing, out of sight, people don't really see it and they're not gonna be like, hey, free snowboard or free tools or free luggage. So this way everything is just kind of covered up and out of the elements. But anyways, let me show you the cover. Or first let me empty everything out of the bed and then show you the cover. So let me get to it. So here's the one that I got. I got the Xtang, uh, made in USA. And when I first opened it, there was an issue with the cover. It had a couple of these little tears in it. However, they did send me a brand new replacement vinyl top because, well, I mean, something happened during shipment where that got punctured. However, um, I bought some vinyl patch we're going to see how the vinyl patch works on this stuff because I tend to be a little hard on my things and I'm going to put this one on, patch these guys up. As you can tell by my toolbox, I uh, tend to throw things in the bed and drive the four wheeler and the dirt bike up here and uh, yeah, things kind of get pushed on. So in case I do ruin it almost like right away, this way I have the brand new one kind of as a backup for it right away. So we're going to put this on, otherwise it should be fairly easy. First thing I did was loosen the toolbox bolts so then I can pull the toolbox. Oh, wait. oh my God. Okay, so I loosened the bolts, but anyways, I still have to pull them down so they're not holding on the bed. But we're going to pull the toolbox away from the back of the truck. Put this weather stripping on in here and we're just gonna wipe it down with some alcohol or yeah we'll just wipe it down with alcohol first make sure it sticks really well to it push it back up against the bed and then bolt it down again and then we'll continue with the rest of the uh the uh cover install this is you don't have to do this this is just an added step that i'm doing but anyways let me go ahead and move this toolbox and put in this weather stripping can i just say this is really weird i have not moved that toolbox in uh since i got the bed liner so like two years on my ranger i would take the toolbox off all the time because the rangers had small beds so i mean granted this is six and a half compared to a six foot but it's much wider and deeper so that's what she said anyways i'm gonna put the Weather stripping on the toolbox itself, not so much here because I don't know how well it's going to stick to here, but here it's a pretty smooth surface, so 
We're gonna wipe it down with some alcohol and then stick it on. We'll push up against the bed. So as you can see, it's all in there. It's touching the bed. I had to add some more in the corner here, but that's okay. Should hold, but again, this thing is not gonna be 100% waterproof because all tailgate's gonna be, there's no seal or anything here. You can get those tailgate kits. I don't think I will, but I mainly just want everything to be mostly covered and out of sight. Because even if water gets in here, it's going to be in between the runs and everything. So anyways, that's all done. I just got to bolt it back down. And then we will go ahead and start with this. Pretty simple. All right. So now let's get into the contents of the box. Here we have the driver's side rail. Which has self-adhesive. And that's not the only way it holds itself. It also has the clamps that you put on it. So that's the driver's side rail. Passenger side rail? Yep. This one's for the passenger. Everything is labeled and marked, which is awesome. Packaging. Packaging. Here are those brackets I was talking about for the rails themselves. And then the cover. I'm going to have to set this down. So we've got the cover there, which the cover has all the cross members, everything built into it. And then here is this plate, which has a seal there and a seal all the way down. And this is going to be one of the first things we install. So yeah, it seals all the way up against the toolbox like so. And it's different measurements because this is supposed to work with multitudes of different toolboxes. This is a Delta Pro. That I bought used specifically because it had the buns on the side because I knew I was going to get a tonneau cover like this at some point some of them have the handles here which would get in the way of this guy but this is Delta Pro works with a weather guard and probably other toolboxes that have the things on the side so and this one's not like a low profile or anything but anyways next step we're gonna install this guy but before we do that we're gonna wipe down the bed rails with the alcohol again clean up all this for the self-adhesive and then go ahead and start bolting this in bolting the cover in and then or bolting the side rails in and then put the cover on and adjust everything so let me get to it and uh catch you guys in a little bit here So before we get to the next step, I just want to showcase that they have these like nylon pieces and these clamps. So when it goes up underneath the bed rail, it uh, doesn't just push the aluminum straight up against the underneath. So it kind of protects it, helps holds it. I don't know, small little detail, but means a lot. Anyways, we're about to throw the cover on here and then it's just a matter of like clipping it in and doing a couple bolts. I'm leaving these guys just slightly loose in case I have to move it, but otherwise it's going fairly well, which is awesome. So let me get back to it. Alright, 
So I just finished putting it in and tailgate opens about the same as it did before. I have to adjust these latches because a lot of you guys know it's like these are flimsy handles, all steel cable. So sometimes you kind of have to push on the tailgate and then pull the handle. But otherwise it closes. Everything kind of seals pretty nicely as you can see. I know they make the one, it's the other company, it's not Xtang, it's Access, or Express, it's Access, not Xtang slash Express. That's a lower profile, but with that one, you're losing width between the bed rails. And this guy, can I just say the springs? I think once they break in, <laughs> don't put your face near it, because it pops open. But otherwise, works as it should closes put everything in once that spring i think breaks in more it's going to be nice can shut the tailgate everything like that and as you can tell my tailgate's busted well the cap for this stack is busted here and here <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't tear into it but it's nice that they have the leather here and then this guy here otherwise everything is good in here i don't know what these are for i think these are adjustments i have to look into if needed you can adjust the alignment of the tailgate rail by changing the tailgate okay so yeah to change the alignment which i'm probably going to pull it over this way because it seemed like it was pulling more of the cover on that side so i'm going to try and align it i mean it's pretty aligned right now but i'm still going to try and pull it this way a little bit now like i mentioned before we have these little tears right here all the way through again not their fault i mean things happen during shipping not a big deal but i'm going to try and put that vinyl patch on to repair it otherwise i'm very happy now i can put all my tools in here or luggage or whatever which is going to be really nice because i'm picking up my parents from the airport tonight so get to put all their stuff in here pretty much dry coverage been wanting to do this to the truck since i bought it got the toolbox because i like having the toolbox for all the normal carry around stuff but then when i have all this that goes into here i want to be able to cover it up so no one can really see it yeah you can easily break in but the thing is if they don't see it they're not going to want it because they don't know what's there and they don't want to risk getting caught so they just opened a brand new car wash right down the street from me and they're giving out free car washes today so I brought my mom's car, my dad's car, and now I'm doing the truck because uh, let's see how the new tonneau cover holds up. We'll see how wet it is underneath. I'm not expecting it to be super waterproof, but hey, it's better than just everything getting rained on, right? All right, I'll catch back with you guys back at the house. Oh, that's the grease from the hitch. Anyways, let's... Uh see how wet oh okay so all the water came in through the tailgate kind of expected that however how wet is it that did nothing um looks like some water came down the toolbox and i just noticed the bottom of my toolbox is bowed okay so not the most waterproof but better than what it would be and these guys held up fairly nicely the patches that i did so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up really take a look in the inside to see how waterproof oh. so looks like we had a little water coming from the corner that was expected and we had some along the toolbox here so I might try and adjust this plate to be pressed up against the toolbox more, but otherwise, I mean, again, these tunnel covers aren't 100% waterproof. As you can see here, the water comes through, but it is way better than having this completely open and going through the car wash like that. This whole area would be soaked. So I'm happy with it is what it is but i just didn't want a hard cover and i don't like the camper tops or the pap caps my dad had one out of silverado not a huge fan of them 
So I like to roll a cover this way I can roll it up still have the height So no height restriction. So awesome company. They were quick to respond to my email or actually call about the cover being busted Like I said, they sent me out a new one. I just had to send in pictures everything like that and uh so yeah, not paid or anything. I bought this with my own money because, well, I've been wanting it. And who knows, maybe it will actually help with fuel mileage because the box says it will. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Big thumbs up if you did. Dislike if you thought it could use improvements. Let me know what those could be. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.